All right, so when you are using Osmo to paint, there's gonna be times where you need to paint, draw your thing first, and there's gonna be times where you're gonna to have to draw it afterwards. So if you are using the Osmo Masterpiece to do like a black silhouette, like a black image, like what I have here or here, you are going to do your background all the way first, let it dry, then you will use Osmo to do like your silhouette, okay? Or if you're using Osmo to do like drawing like a coloring page where you're gonna draw it first and then paint inside of it, then you need to draw first. So like this is an example where I drew it first, then I painted inside all the lines. But if it's something where you are drawing, painting with black, do it last. Draw last. Paint your background all the way first. Then if it's where you're doing black on it, make sure you do that afterwards. So background first, then draw and then paint black. And then if you're using Osmo to draw something, draw first and then paint. If you're using Osmo, you are going to need an iPad without its case. So you're going to go come by the, the marker board and where you see the toolbox, you're going to grab an iPad without its case. Then you will also need the Osmo base. So at the red table, the iPad's table, right below, we're going to look for this label that says Osmo base and you will grab this. So you need the red piece and the white piece. So when you're painting with Osmo, you will need your paper, a pencil, the Osmo base, and then you will set in the iPad. And then at the top, we'll go with the red reflector. So the big side of the reflector points towards you over the camera. Then you're ready to find the app on the iPad. So it looks like that Mona Lisa right over here is where the app is. Right. Then on the app, it will should go to the first page and you will click start drawing. On here, you are going to either use one of theirs. You can also search for your own. So if you click this little magnifying glass, we can search for your own. and then you will click return. Then it'll show pictures. If you would like to make it things easier on you, it is easier to draw like a coloring page. So way up at the top, it'll say all images in the corner. If you click that, it'll switch and you can switch to coloring book. This is usually a little bit easier to trace. Then you'll just scroll through and you will select the one that you want. Then it'll load and you'll start drawing. So when I am drawing, I am looking at the screen the entire time and I'm gonna try and line up my pencil on one of these red lines. Once it's lined up, I'm gonna carefully try and trace these red lines. You will keep going until your whole piece is finished and then you are ready to start painting. The painting supplies you will need are right by the sink. So in the cabinet, we have our warm colors and cool colors. If you open up the cabinet, you'll find all the paints. You will need a, probably a step stool to reach the paint. So grab a step stool and then you'll be able to reach them carefully. The next cabinet over is our neutral colors like black, gray, white, tan, and you'll find them all in there. Then you'll also need a paint cup or a water cup. So you can use the big guy or you can use a tiny one. Um, we only need to fill up them half. So cups only need to be filled up halfway. These little brush basins only need to be filled up on one side. So whatever side has the little bumps, you will fill it up with water and you don't need that much. Then you will also need paint brushes. So paint brushes are in 
the end cabinet, we'll look for the little brush label and they are right in this cabinet. If you'd like, you can also have a paint shirt that will help protect your clothes. And then your paintings will all go on the drying racks to dry. 